G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a lizard today. I've been doing lots of lizards and frogs and they're so much fun. Um, now this is my prototype, so yes, I've used a lot of silicone in making this, but um, I wanted to see if it worked first before I went and did a, a mold housing. So lots of wasted silicone, but never mind. Never waste it if it works. Right, so anyway, as you can see, there's my, my lizard. His head's in there. I'm going to put, I thought I'd make him green. Now, this is Let's Resin Chameleon Powder. This one's called Mint. And then from this pack, dark green. And from this pack, green. So hopefully, tones of green. Okie dokes. Let me just, I'll move them out of their way, but I will keep them near their boxes so that I don't get anything mixed up all right so you know the drill we're just gonna dust with chameleon powders first you don't get much in these like this is a big bottle this is like the same size bottle but it's it's pointy on the bottom so it's not flat so you don't get very much righto um i'm just gonna go for it i think i'm gonna do a bit of something in there um i think i'm gonna I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the dark green. I'm going to put some in his... Oh gosh, it's spraying everywhere. I'm just going to roll it around in there. And it's, you can't really see all that well, but I'm just going to kind of roll it around in there. I'll come back to it. And then I'm going to put like a stripe of green down his body a little bit wider here where it's a little bit wider and then see if I can go a little bit thinner I don't know if I can into his little tail okay maybe it's just having a dark green tail I'll put a little bit of something else along the sides of that but this little thin bit here will just be a little green tail Just kind of follow the shape there of that. I'm going to have to get in there and push that green around a little bit. All right, so I'm going to close that up, put it back in its little box. This is the Intense Chameleon Powders. So I've just picked the green out of that. I'm trying to keep them together. I don't know. This is intense as well, but it's blues and this one's greens. So I'll keep that there. Clean off my little, my little brush as best I can like so before I go dipping into someone else now this one even though it says dark green you can see you can clearly see there that it's got a lot of purple in it right eh? so we'll just see what that one's like and I'll put a little bit of a, a little bit of that one up the side <laughs> it hasn't got any left on this side here I just thought I'll see what it's like with the, the three colours. Um, and then the um, the feet I'll use in the mint, I think. And that's going up the side there. Now this, yeah, it's the first time I've used this mould. It was, I tell you, it was a tricky one to make. It was. It certainly got my creative juices flowing, trying to make a mould like this rather tricky I must say all right so that's that there do I want to go up further um yeah yeah because it's not much of it let's go up further up the side here I'll go up the side of his body with the same one otherwise it's not going to have very much color and then I'll just do the the legs in the other one I can't see what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna have to do this because I can't see what I'm doing. You don't want me sticking my head in the way, do you, of the camera? Okay, that's that. I might, I might try and, I know you can't see, I might try and get a little bit of purple like around the, the well, I'm saying purple, but it's dark green. Because I've only gone, sort of 
on the bottom with that first green. So I'll try and go up the sides a little bit with this one. If I can. I can't really see what I'm doing all that well. I'll do a bit now and then I'll kind of like <laughs> try and fix it up later on when I can hold it up to my chest and look down there. All right, so that one's that one's done. Let's clean this off. And then the last one, it's very light. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it's, yeah, it looks very light. There we go. Let's try that now. Mint. Mint it is. I'm just going to brush this onto my paper towel first just to kind of get the colour old colour off. Here we go, into the into the knees. The knee goes right down there. Yeah, like I said, it was a tricky mould to make. I'm no mould maker, like seriously. I've, I've just taught myself, you know. Over the last couple of years, I've just taught myself how to make moulds. I have found that um, if, if you're pouring into like an intricate mould um, and you're getting a lot of bubbles that are, that are sticking to the actual silicone, it's really quite handy to dust the mould first because the bubbles or the resin um, it doesn't really stick or create bubbles when it's touching the mica powders. It kind of breaks the surface tension, the powders, and then you don't tend to get a lot of bubbles because there's some molds that I just get a million bu bubbles, you know, stuck to the actual silicone itself. But when I dust, I don't get that. You might get the, you know, the occasional little bubble, but it's certainly not as much as if I don't dust. So I think that's always just a little option for you if you are struggling with bubbles. I'm just going to put you on pause. I'm going to finish these last two because I'll be, you'll be bored. I'll be right back. Right, so I have mixed up my resin. Now I'm still getting lots of people asking me for my chart on how I mix resin. So I'll leave it there for a Few seconds and you can take a little snapshot of it this is my two to one resin here part a part b total so if i look down i go okay i want about 150 grams of resin so i'd go oh there's 143 that'll do so i go 100 of a 43 of b and that's what that's that's what i use there this is the one to one resin this is your thicker resins usually your coating top coat that sort of resin. So um, again, if I want 150 grams-ish, I'd say, yep, that's close enough there, 142. So I'd go 75 of A, 67 of B. Now, it's not totally one-to-one -one because the way I do it, I weigh it. I don't like putting it in a cup and trying to figure out where the line is. For me, for my resins, all the resins I've tried, I can't say all of them, but once I've tried, A is always heavier than B. B. So when I put them in a cup and I put like 100 mils of A and 100 mils of B, they're both the same. But then when I weighed those cups, this is what they turned out to be. A was 100 grams and B was 90 grams. They weren't the same. Now that's only the ones I've tried, all the ones I've tried. So this is what I've used. Okay, so there you go. I'll get my hands out of the way. You can take a shot and then we shall move on. I am using the Platinum River Resin, this one here. It's a two-part, <laughs> two parts of A, one part of B. And um, I've put some black pigment paste in there. And I figured I needed about 180-ish. I did, I did, what did I do? I did 125 grams of A and I did 55 of B or 54 of B, just to round it up. So that's what I've done there, okay? Clear as mud. Right, let's move on. River resin. Uh, you can pour it nice and deep. Probably to about five centimetres, I think. 
Now I like to just pour it in the one spot there and let the resin find its own way rather than moving the cup up and down and you got more chance of getting bubbles then just oh, there it goes one leg just pour it in one spot and let it find its own way into all the little nooks and crannies it's probably the best way to do it and I hope I've got enough resin oh, I probably will move my cup up towards the tail in a minute though up we go it's filling up all right I'm gonna stop there just for a sec and let the resin flow because otherwise I'm gonna overflow here it might not want to go in there on its own I'll just give it a bit of a I'll give it a bit of a helping hand shall I do you want a hand little resin let's, let's do that now this one has got the um, silicon brush on one end and a little ball on the other end so I'm just going to use the little ball and I'm going to try not to touch the mold I'm just going to ease the top layer of the resin in there Now when these little toes come out, I may have to do some work on them, kind of file them and shape them because they were really difficult to mould. But I'm using this, I'll use this lizard that I'm making um, as my, my master, my blank. And um, I'll make a mould of it. Is how I do these things. In you go, in you go. Make sure that the resin's going into all those little toes. I don't want any bubbles. Make sure it's gone in there. But yeah, I'll have to work on them a little bit, these little toes. They're probably not going to be as separated as... <laughs> I want I don't know we'll see we'll see what I can do with them it's only just little old me I'm no mold maker professional mold maker but I wanted to try a really lifelike lizard like I think when this turns when I turn this out you guys are just gonna go oh, shut the front door because I'm hoping it's gonna be really realistic really realistic Okay, there we go. We're into the toes. Give them a little bit of a zhuzh on the ends there. Make sure I've got no bubbles. <laughs> These two toes are joined together down here. All right, have we gone into the tail yet? No, let's push, push it good. Push some of that resin in. Put a little bit more in. Oh gosh, I've made up too much. I wasn't sure how much I needed. I'd have to make some more pendants, hey. Been making lots of the puffy heart pendants with my leftover resin. And you guys just sometimes get one when you order a mold <laughs> or a couple of molds. I'll just throw one in. So I said to my husband, I need to make more with my leftover resins. Get into the habit of making more rather than just throwing it away. You can see the powders have kind of floated to the top. I did blow it over the over the bin, but there's still a few little bits of mica powder that sort of float up to the surface. Make sure into that little there. Okay, so that is done. Give that a clean. Okay, now I'll put a tiny bit more in. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to go and get my puffy heart mould. I'm going to add some sparkle to my black it just gives a really pretty effect because it kind of all sinks to the bottom so I'm just going to do that oh, maybe a bit more oh, maybe not I haven't got much in there have I don't need a lot don't need a lot of it um, but uh, yeah because it's it's not very heavy but it does kind of sink to the bottom anyway I'll see how that looks I might add a bit more 
You see, you can actually see the glitter in it. Kind of looks like a starry night, doesn't it? It's really pretty. Makes it pretty pendant. So if you've just got like just black or just navy or any colour really, and you think, oh, what can I do with it? I don't want to waste it. Add a little bit of glitter. Nothing that's too heavy that's going to sink and make it really opaque. Um, that one I've got a little damaged bit in there, a little scratch, so I won't use that one. I'll pour in here, pour a little bit, let it level. It's got to make sure it goes in around there, see? Built-in pendant, you guys! I know, right? Oh, cool! Built-in pendant bale hanger. <laughs> okay, that one's going in. See, I can get three out of this. I could probably get four out of it, but like I said, the other one's a bit damaged. I should just throw this out, hey? Oh, I could, yeah. I've got more. I should just... Why don't I do that? I should just go and grab a fresh one, and then I can make four, can't I? Next time. And I like to bring them right up so they... They're doming rather than having it a little bit under the heart of the side. Um, otherwise, you tend to get that little sharp lip. All right, there we go. Done skis. And I've only got it, like a teaspoon, a couple of teaspoons left. So there we go. All right, that's all we're going to do. Some bubbles coming up there. Nice little quick little torch. There we go. All right, now I'm not going to be able to unmold this till tomorrow because it's a deep pour. It does take like probably 18 hours, really. So, yeah, I'll go and do something else. I've got, oh my gosh, I have got so much to show you this year, guys. We are going to have a good year, okay? A good year. All right, I will see you tomorrow. It's finally set the next day I've been waiting not very patiently I keep coming and pushing on it to see if it's ready I'll move those out of the way and it's finally ready I think all right now where do I start where do I start the head will come out last because it'll slide out so <laughs> it's a huge mold I've ordered, I've ordered some more um, silicone because I use the, um, this, this one, it's really quite hard, thick, hard. I use the 25 sure hardness, but I've ordered some that's a little bit softer, um, like more pliable, more bendable for some of my moulds. And I think it'll be easier maybe oh no it's coming out really well i'm just being really careful i don't want to break oh you're still a bit bendy oh gosh it's been 24 hours you guys it's been 24 hours and it's like it said it's just the thin bits the thickest bits set faster um and then the the thinner bits take a bit longer ah, I'm so excited now remember did i tell you god it was a whole day ago did I tell you that it was a matte mold? wasn't terribly shiny. Oh, I feel like I've just given birth, you guys. <laughs> Pop! Oh my gosh! Oh, all right. Let me put this down somewhere. Uh, it's a big, heavy thing. All right. Okay. Now, oh, there's a bit of a bubble there. Is that a bubble? A bit of a bubble. Never mind. It's on the back. I'm just going to get my stool. If I get my stool, and I can look down through my camera, which is just up there. If I don't have my stool, I can't see into it. All right. Oh, if that's anything like it's going to be. Oh, I'm very excited. A little bit of stuff to cut off his little tootsie toes. I know, I know. Just stop fiddling and flip it over. All right. <sighs> Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, no way. Look at him, you guys. Oh, look at his, look at his face. Look at his face. I'm going to get in there a little bit closer. Hang on, let me zoom you in with the three. The three is always good. Focus number three. So that's good there. I was wondering how the areas that were fault like higher up would work. I'll have to cut that back a bit. That one there. 
So, uh, yeah, I just, I wasn't sure like how it was going to work because, you know, his legs were up and um, you can't, you can't like get a mould out that's got a gap underneath. It doesn't work. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that skin, you guys. Wow. <gasps> He's so good. So I've got a little bit of work to do on him. I'll wait until, you know, he's, he's totally set and then I'll, I'll start, you know, trimming up a little bit. Um, yeah, wow. So good. <gasps> I love it. Oh, I've got to paint his eyes. I've got to paint his eyes. I've got to paint his eyes. That was my black pen. You could give him red if you wanted to. There's his ears. I'm going to do this this way. I really need like a smaller, finer tipped pen because even this one, even though it's got a, a fine tip, it's not fine enough and I find I sort of go over his eyelids a little bit. There we go. How's that? So cool. And there's his mouth. He's, he's got his tongue in there. You can see his tongue. He's got little nostrils. A little dot in a nostril. There we go. Oh, so cute, you guys. Well, not everyone thinks lizards are cute, hey? I had a chameleon growing up. When I was growing up, I had a chameleon, I should say. <laughs> And I've always had animals. Do you guys have wildlife rescue over in the States? I was with the wildlife rescue for many, many years. So you'd come over to my house and there'd be birds galore and bats and cormorants having water therapy in the bath, <laughs> little joeys, <laughs> possums, little baby possums, you name it. I have it at my house. Just an animal lover. You guys see that with the kookaburras in the mornings, don't you? We're feeding all the animals. I can't help it. It's in my genes. It's in my blood. I can't help it. So I love animals. I love lizards. So I'm going to have to just trim that. Actually, I can trim that now uh, while the resin's still a little bit soft. Now, what do you think of the colours? Can you kind of see the colour change? the sort of purpley on, on the on the side there and then the green on the top can you see the details now you guys let me know what you think of this is this something that you would like to see me produce for sale I'll try <laughs> oh, like I said I'm not a I'm not a professional mold maker you know I do my best but they're not 100%. I think if people want 100% perfect, then you go to those mass-produced ones. You know, the Chinese ones. You know the ones I'm talking about. Oh, anyway. All right. Let me know what you think of him. I love him. Oh, all right. I forgot to unmold these for you. Should we have a look? Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to get them out. These will be giveaways. Just, uh, I just pop them in randomly when people buy a couple of my moulds. Because what else am I going to do with them, hey? Just, just little gifts. Ooh, look at that. It's darker on the edge there, where the silver's kind of fallen down to the, the little lowest part there. It looks really pretty. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. They'd look nice with a, a like a, a black leather piece of, well, faux leather or real leather or silver chain. So cute, aren't they? All right. Now I did trim a little lizard a little bit. Let me get you down. 
I just did a little bit of trimming. I haven't done his toes yet, as you can see. That I'll have to wait till they're really dry. Um, but I did a little bit on the back there. Took that little bit out. You can see all that well in this light. I don't know. I've got ring lights on, and I still don't have very good light. <laughs> He's kind of in the shadows. There we go. Put my flash on. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Look at the detail on that. I can't get any lower. I can't get down any lower. <laughs> so yeah, once he's um, totally cured, I'll, I can trim between his toes very, very carefully. Get around the side. There we go. Anyway, let me know what you think of him or her. I think it's really cool, very realistic. All right, thanks so so much for watching, and uh, definitely we'll pour in this one again once I've got it right. This is just my start of my molding process, my prototype. It takes me a while. Some work, some don't work. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thanks so much for watching and uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care. Bye for now.